Howdy YouTube. No, this is not supposed to look like this. What this is, is the back section for the mower deck on the tractor. Uh, this adjustable thing right here attaches to the arms on the mower deck. And these two things, which are supposed to be nice and straight and parallel, are what attach to the three point arms in the back and can slide back and forth as the arms go up and down. Did I mention they're supposed to be straight? This right here, this is what happens when you don't realize that this bolt fell out somewhere out in the acreage and uh, that this is just sort of dragging along the ground, uh, especially when you back up. And I tried the quick fix of just, you know, throw it in the vise and crank it closed and see if I could straighten it out enough to make it usable, but no dice. This is, uh, this is pretty stiff, stout stuff, and I just don't have a big enough vise or a big enough hammer or something to, to get it to go. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to make a new one. I've got this piece of eighth inch plate right here, which is the same thickness this stuff is, that happens to have a, a tab sticking up out of it. I don't even remember what this was, but anyway, that piece is exactly the right size to make a new one of these. So uh, let's start chopping and see if we can't put together something that's going to get the grass cut. Well, this stuff is plated, galvanized, whatever. Who knows what it's coated with? So you definitely want to wear a respirator and be in a well-ventilated space when you're going to cut on it or grind it or pretty much do anything that's going to make it airborne. Okay, hopefully you can see that with the, with the light the way it is, but I've ground this thing down essentially to a point. This is a, well, it's supposed to be a 45 degree angle. It came out probably more like 30, but Anyway, the point being that uh, when I take the new metal, of which this is not it, and put it up against there, I'll have a V groove that I can fill in with the welder because we are absolutely at the limit of what this welder is capable of here at 125 thou thickness. So I want to be able to do a couple of beads, you know, fill this thing in, do a root pass, and then come back uh, in order to get as much strength out of that tiny little welder as possible. The replacement metal gets the same treatment. Cutoff wheel in the angle grinder is how it gets separated from the original plate, and then the grinding wheel takes the edge that we're going to weld down to about a 30 degree angle or so. I put the original piece in the vise and used it to trace out the slot that I'm going to need for the bolts in the back. I used some drills, I had to do it in three passes to step it up to the right size to do the two ends, and then I'm going to have to come back and cut out the middle. I originally tried to do this with a jigsaw, but it was a massive fail, so I ended up back with the cutoff wheel. And yes, this is exactly as much of a pain as it looks like trying to cut along a line between two circles with an angle grinder, but in the end, with the help of some pliers, got the job done. I'm using the welder on high power, which I pretty much always do, with the wire feed speed set about in the middle, somewhere between 5 and 6. I start by just tacking up the two pieces so that they'll stay in one place, and brush, brush and brush and brush. The flux core wire leaves lots of slag and flux and everything else on the top of the bead. And before you put the next pass in there, you really, really want to get that cleaned off. Obviously, you don't want to grind your whole weld away, but you don't want to weld slag and flux inside of what you're trying to have as being structural. Well, it's all cooled off and it seems to have uh, stuck together anyway. I don't want to grind down the weld too much because all you're doing is grinding away strength and uh, this by no means needs to be pretty. Uh, but I can kind of show you here, there's only one, I don't know, little little problem right here on the edge. My last pass, I kind of blew out uh, the end of my weld. So I'm, I'm an eighth of an inch short of a full bond the whole way across. But otherwise, I think it looks good enough. Let's go throw it on the tractor and uh, see what breaks. For the sake of comparison, here's what the original one looks like. This is on the left side of the tractor, the one that I didn't lose a bolt and break. And then here's our replacement over on the right-hand side. It's not pretty, and as you can see, it's not exactly perfectly square either, but it'll get the job done. You fire up the tractor, pull the lever, and sure enough, the deck goes up. Push the lever, the deck goes down. What well, passes the initial test, it'll support the weight of that mower deck under the forces of the hydraulics that raise it and lower it on the tractor. I'm going to go out and spend what's left of this Saturday cutting grass and uh, see if it continues to hold up. I don't consider this a first-class repair by any stretch of the imagination. That flux core weld is a, is a little bit on the brittle side for this kind of duty, so uh, time will tell how it holds up. Questions or comments, leave them below. While you're there, think about hitting that subscribe button. And of course, as always, stay safe, YouTube.